Yeah, buddy. Murica. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Of course, if you're tuning in from the previous video, you already know this is the mansion that we rented behind us. This is an Airbnb, but the biggest thing is, is it is on its own private island. So basically the entire thing is owned by this person and it's literally right on the beach. This is the way the other half lives, or I don't know, basically the lifestyles of the rich and famous. Guys, this is the behind the scenes of John and Josh. This is where the magic happens. Look, what could Josh be looking at? Oh, I, thought I, had a rock chip. I think he spotted us. <laughs> you thought you had a rock chip. Yeah, I really did. It's not. <laughs> the guy literally wearing an expel hat thinks he has a rock chip. Well, I thought guys. he chipped the film. Oh, okay. But it didn't. It's 10 mil, right? It is 10 mil. There's no, I mean, unless the C8 was in front of you, there's no way a rock was traveling fast enough. There's an outside. And we all know the C8 wasn't in front of anybody. I'm just kidding. He guys, actually... unsubscribe to Blackout Tinning right now. No, I'm just joking. He actually smokes me every time we do a highway pull and it's just like- There was one awesome. time. There was one time because I was in the wrong gear, he got me. Yeah, it hurts. Here to tell us some interesting facts about the house is Jimmy from Blackout Tinning. You can actually look it up. We did last night, it was super cool. This house was the real world from MTV. They filmed a little bit here. I don't know like how many people were here what the episode was. The cool thing about it is one of the guys, jocks, that did that is still in the house. I slept in the same room as him, different beds, honestly, but like, let's go check him out. All right, guys, this is very interesting. We get to see one of these real world inhabitants in their natural habitat. Gotta be quiet though, this guy doesn't like to be disturbed. He's one of the original real world people. I wanna say his name's Tyler, because that's what he was saying in his sleep last night. Tyler, everything okay with you? You look great. It smells like cigarettes in here. No, I think it's Tyler. It smells like chewing tobacco and Gatorade. <laughs> this guy's straight up passed out. Like this is how the other half lives. Like I said, guys, he, all he has to do is sleep all day. Life. Island life, look at that. He cut his hair this morning too, which is pretty cool. He's, a razor blade he's you know? getting a text message and he is totally ignoring it because he doesn't care about anybody but himself. It's your mom, she said she made soup, Tyler. Don't wake up. Oh, she'll probably be by later. We'll we'll catch her later. She's such a good soup maker. I could totally see like someone's daughter coming down these stairs wearing like a beautiful prom dress and the mom seeing them for the first time and be like, oh, that's my baby girl. All right, Josh, tell me a little bit of the history of this place since you- uh... I've researched it a bit. Yeah. So it was built, I think it like, they started building in like 1926. The guy uh, was a businessman in Key West that owned most of Key West that said he employed like at one point like 50,000 people or something. Uh, was into the fishing industry, shipping industry, turtle canning industry, which is <laughs> a strange industry. Um, and uh, yeah, he's just super rich businessman and his wife that he married from New York City, I guess she didn't want to move to the Keys. She told him the only way she would is if you build her a castle on her own island. And so that's what he built, so he could get his wife here with him. So we kind of took a tour of this place already. Um, like I told Josh, it's not as big as I thought it would be. No, I'm joking, I'm joking. This, <laughs> this place was, what would you say, like 10 million? Uh, it sold for eight million the last time it was in the Eight million. So obviously you can imagine how large this house is at eight million dollars because, you know, most people, you know, between a hundred and hundred and fifty thousand dollars, that's more than enough for a standard size family. But yeah, if we look out these windows here, you can actually see the boats I was talking about earlier. So that's how close the water is. We're literally right on the water. There's a lighthouse over there. We're gonna wake up this real world, real world contestant in the most fashionable way possible. Fun fact about this too, if you ever saw the movie Ghost, me and Josh ended up getting a pottery wheel and we made this 1998, <laughs> You can see where our hands both interlocked, making a hole, but it worked out. All right, everybody get around the bed. Start us off. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Tyler. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Island boy. What's up, man? Like Good a... morning, Luke. I they mean, Tyler. Were, they were like, we're going to have him catch up in the Renegade, and I was like, nah, let's just give it one more shot. What do you mean? You need some contact solution? Your eyes are a little red. <laughs> <laughs> I just woke up. What do you expect? <laughs> Don't hurt his feelings. You're right, and I like the red. Good? Why well, was the birthday song that just sung to me? Who doesn't know the birthday It's your song? birthday, dude. How long did you freaking sleep? It was the only song everybody knew. There's a little bit of maintenance involved with a thousand horsepower car. Jimmy's got to test, test the oil. Check it. Every... I, I, I check the oil. We drove the whole way here in a thousand horsepower drag car pretty much and used one quart of oil. Yes, you're going to burn some oil in a big horsepower car like that, but the fact that we drove it the whole way 1500 miles from here and used one quart is pretty impressive, if you ask me. Agreed. So while the GTO is pretty cool, something else just landed on this gigantic property that I want to. I want to show you and apparently so does John because he's over there filming them. Check these things out. I'm told these are pelicans from someone who might know more than I do. I'm going to see how close we can get to these guys before they they scare off but check these things out. Something you don't see too often in PA that's for sure. Yeah they're they don't like humans. Poor little guys looking for some food but yeah guys check this out. <laughs> yeah very nice. I mean there's a four car garage over there. We weren't allowed to use it because I guess it's full of stuff. There's another like pool house back there. Over here, you can kind of see back there in the distance, there's a, in a, a big in-ground pool with a nice deck around it. There's a pool in the back back here. There's a, a hot tub back there. And then there's a hot tub up on the balcony in the back. Yeah, I mean, somebody, somebody knows how to live. This is some nice stuff here. But yeah, like I said, we're heading out. So everybody's kind of go pro before we go. He's got a coconut. <laughs> In the front. A lovely... How has your luggage capacity situation been? Pretty easy to fit everything in Oh this? yeah, yeah, like this, I talked about it on one of the, the, the videos I'm making, but there's a fair amount of, I mean, that's obviously pretty big, fair amount of stuff that we bring and it fits in here with room for coconuts. That's so cool. I only have one, so it's not necessarily a lovely bunch of coconuts, but we've got some. This this is how you know you're, you're rocking it in style in the South. We got a nice house and there's literally trees on the property dropping coconuts so yeah and then here comes this crazy guy he's li he's literally going to be filling up the back of this renegade with coconuts because he likes the coconut water john you looked up how long these last what the shelf life is four months four months so he's definitely pretty uh committed to the coconut idea because he looked it up and decided that four months was going to be it he's loading up the back of this renegade to have as many coconuts as possible so when he gets back he has something to eat and drink so fun fact about the gto guys i don't know i did not know this and it's funny because i almost bought one of these cars in the early like 2000s but uh this giant box back here that's actually where the gas tank's at so the gas tank is not under this car like a normal car you fill it up here obviously but the tank is back here so it kind of limits trunk space it's interesting because like i said I actually looked at one of these. It was an 05 or an 06, I think. It was this exact same color and it had a couple different options, but of course this was back in like 08, so the car was still kind of newish. I did not know that the gas tank was in the trunk. That's kind of interesting, I guess, but we're gonna get a lot of fun facts of the GTO because this is a pretty cool car, even though it is on the older side. And obviously this one being a thousand horsepower helps make it really freaking cool. And the last fun fact, at least until we leave the mansion here, is that the car will automatically do this. That's that's how you know. I mean, you don't know until you know, and we know on this car, it is very fast. The Pelicans are back. What are they? Here's some type of cream. Okay, so I'm being pulled in all kinds of directions here. I don't know my birds. I don't know if that's a pelican or a crane, but this is a long-legged bird. I will tell you that much. And they're over there cleaning themselves. They're not something I've seen in PA, so it is a different kind of bird. You want to punch it? Josh wants to know if I want to punch that bird. I don't think so, no. I mean, if it came like running after me, I'd probably run. I'd be that kid running away from the chicken. I think that's always kind of funny. It's sort of like a goose that it has like, like every time you see a goose, you want to punch it, right? It has like a real punchable body. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs>
<laughs> Every time you see a goose, you want to punch it. <laughs> I'd be IS. All right, there it is, guys. <laughs> Final answer. It's a white ibis. Ibis. Oh, man. It looks like a crane. It looks like a pelican, apparently. I'm sorry I gave you wrong bird information. So many cool things are happening while I'm standing out here because it's, it's nice and it's during the day. Last night, not much was going on because it was so late. You really couldn't see anything. But, yeah, we're heading out. I promise this time. You guys knew we couldn't leave without a cold start of that AWE, right? Yeah, buddy! America! Lunchtime, guys. So nice local barbecue place. Yeah. We gotta eat too, right? So while we're sitting here looking at the menu, you might have to get a hot dog. Tyler joined us. And just so you guys know, that's not his name's not actually Tyler. That's that's Luke. He kind of does the customer service stuff at Blackout Tinning. And check it out, the conch fritter. I've been told on two of my live videos I had to do this. There they are. We're gonna try them out. Local art, guys. We're at a barbecue shop. This is what art is in the keys. Yeah. All right, that's one more dining down and one step closer to Pennsylvania. Guys, not bad. Not a bad establishment, but we're gonna jump into cars and head out again. A fellow Corvette lover has joined us in Florida. Check it out. say bye bye so as you guys can see we are on our way back up the coast of florida lots of water surrounding where we're at but we're moving along and this light pops up on the dash yeah i need to get the oil changed in this car so i've been waiting to do it till the 7500 mile mark because if you get the oil changed at that point you can also get the filter changed for the dual clutch transmission at the same time and it's covered under warranty so it's absolutely zero cost for you as an owner so um stay tuned for this guys this is going to be a different video it's probably going to be separate from the road trip videos unless i can actually find a gm dealership around here that could do this for me real quick but if not this will be a separate video kind of instructing you showing you guys what needs to be done at 7500 miles and uh you know kind of just seeing how the oil change is done but yeah like i said we are heading out of miami now we're we're pretty close to west palm beach i think uh we're gonna stop here for gas in a second but uh for the most part this night is over we're gonna get some gas head back to a hotel and i'll probably catch you guys tomorrow unless some some cool things happen in between here in the hotel but either way just wanted to give you an update real quick on the C8 situation. So I will see you guys tomorrow.